So the Google Pixel 9a just dropped, and even though it's technically a budget or mid-range phone, it has the same Tensor G4 chip from the Pixel 9 Pro. That means you're getting many of the same flagship level AI features for hundreds less. So in this video, I'm walking through the coolest Pixel 9a AI features to try first, but keep in mind, most of these will also work for the rest of the Pixel 9 lineup, so let's get into it. Let's start things off with Pixel Studio. Pixel Studio is Google's built-in AI art tool. Think of it like a mix between prompt-based AI art generators and a custom sticker maker designed right into your phone. Here's how you can use it. First, open Google Pixel Studio. Hit Create and type in your prompt. You can then choose from different art styles for your creation like video game, anime, watercolor, and more. Now, you can also create images of people, but just don't expect photorealistic celebrities or kids. Google blocks those. You can now save your images to your photo roll and any stickers that you make to use later. And if you need some inspiration, there's some popular topics at the top that you can scroll through that might be a good point to start from. And yes, I might be a little bit taco obsessed, but you gotta admit these results are awesome, especially for a free tool that's built right into your phone. But reimagine mode takes things up a notch. Now you can type in whatever you want to change and AI will generate it. You can start by taking a picture or opening your Google Photos app and then tapping edit. Magic editor. So let's say you took a rather boring picture of a plant like I did. You can start off by selecting the subject of your image, in this case my plant, and change the material it's made out of. At the very bottom, you'll see the reimagine button, and then you can start typing in whatever you want to change. You can also completely change the background of your image. Let's make it a starry night. Now let's push it a little bit and try to add a snowy landscape to the foreground. And considering that wasn't even a really good image to start with, the results are pretty awesome. If you made it this far into the video, thanks for watching. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing for more videos like this one. Let me know in the comments which Google Pixel, if any, you're currently using. And if you want to learn more about the Pixel 9a and see if it's the right phone for you, you can watch our full buyer's kit video linked below. Now for some more Pixel AI features. Circle to search is one of those features that sounds simple, but quickly becomes essential once you learn how to use it. You can circle anything on your screen, a product, a word, an image, and get instant Google results, all without having to leave the app that you're using. To access it, just long press on the home button. Now draw a circle around that you want to search. And once you get the hang of it, it's so much smoother than switching apps, screenshotting, and all that other stuff that you no longer need to do. I think it's actually perfect for shopping, looking up actors in a scene, or just translating text on the fly. Let's try it on Ryan Reynolds right here. Who is this guy? I can quickly figure out that it's Ryan Reynolds, so that's pretty cool. It'll also kind of find a similar jacket too. So if I want to dress like Ryan Reynolds, not really my style, but you get the point. Powerful results just from circling something right on your screen. Call screen is Google doing customer service for you. When a call comes in, it can answer on your behalf and using Gemini powered contextual replies, you can find out whether a call is legit and then you can decide if it's worth answering. To turn it on, go to your phone app, hit the three dots for settings, and then the first option will show caller ID and spam. From here, we can enable C caller and spam ID, which will help you identify businesses and spam numbers. Now with your screen calls, you'll see a live transcript of the conversation. Take my word for it. It's generally satisfying not having to deal with robocalls anymore. Making Siri look as outdated as ever, Gemini is Google's next-gen assistant that has almost completely replaced the classic Google Assistant with a more conversational, helpful, and downright smart AI. That's Luke Skywalker holding Grogu, also known as Baby Yoda, from the Mandalorian series. It looks like a Funko Pop figure. Where does one get something like this? You can usually find Funko Pops like this one at major retailers such as Walmart, Target, and Amazon. On the Pixel 9a, it runs fast, smooth, and it's where a lot of Google's future AI features live. I'm Google's latest and greatest AI model, and I'm still under development. I'm what you might call a large language model, 
respond to your questions in a way that feels natural. So we already got a really nice intro from Gemini, but it's now powered by Gemini 2.0 Flash, which is a lighter, faster version model that handles day-to-day -day tasks without lag. It also supports Gemini Live, which I'll demo right now, and it will actually tell us what's happening on screen. So what are we looking at right now? I'm seeing a pair of Marshall headphones. They look like the major IV model, known for their retro design and wireless capabilities. That's actually pretty cool. Gemini was already a helpful assistant that you could type or use speech to text with, but with Gemini Live, it takes things to a whole other level. So yeah, if you just picked up a Google Pixel 9a, these are the coolest AI features that you're gonna wanna try today. Let me know if there's anything that I missed or I should try next time in the comments. To learn more about the Google Pixel 9a, you can find our full review down below. If you want more how-to tech, subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss my next video. You can find us everywhere at Tom's Guide and you can follow me to see what other cool tech I'm reviewing. Gemini, any final words? And that's a wrap on our Pixel 9a AI adventure. We've only scratched the surface of what this phone can do. Keep exploring, keep creating, and I'll catch you in the next dimension. Until the next one, I'll catch you later.